The binomial probability distribution is used when we do an experiment with two outcomes, hit or miss, success or fail, and we repeat it a fixed number of times. We're then interested in what's the probability of getting a certain number of successes out of the number of times that we do the experiment. So let's look at the case where we do the experiment five times and each time the probability of getting a success is 0.4. What's the probability of getting no successes? Well, we can do this using the Excel formula and functions list and we want the binomial distribution which is there. So we're going for no successes but to enable us to do other ones more easily, let, instead of putting naught in, let's put in A2, which is the cell containing the number of successes we want. We're doing five trials. The chance each time of a success is 0 0.4. And we don't want cumulative. We want the individual probabilities of the particular uh, outcomes. So if I now, so that says there's seven, about seven and three quarters percent chance of getting no successes when you do the experiment five times. We now click and drag from the bottom right corner, left click and hold down and drag and we get all the other probabilities. There's only a one percent chance of getting five successes out of five. The most likely outcome is two out of five which of course makes sense because that is 0.4. Just to make sure we've got a good probability distribution Let's check that the probabilities all add up to 1. So we click the whole lot, drag and go down a few more rows. Home, and sigma gives us the total, and there it is, 1. So this is a valid probability distribution, the binomial distribution. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant. Spot on. Well done.